Do you have dead areas in your lawn like I do and want to know an easy way to take care of this so you have a nice lush lawn next summer? Well, this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com and I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this quick and easy. So the first problem with my lawn is it used to be overgrown and we took a bushwhacker to it and we wound up with this. There's some woody areas here that we killed in the beginning of the spring. Now it's almost fall. And we'd like to take care of this because the weather's starting to turn cool. So one of the things you need to do is you need some really good topsoil. Now I've purchased one yard of topsoil from my local nursery. If you don't have access to a pickup truck like I have, then you can purchase this in bags. It's really inexpensive expensive and the thing about this one is that I don't have peat and I don't have compost mixed in with it. The reason why I went with this topsoil is because I'm actually trying to change the topography of this area a little bit. It's a little bit lumpy, a little bit bumpy when you're mowing over the top you're kind of moving around over the top of it and I really want to avoid that. So until the seedlings grow and actually hold back erosion on that slope this topsoil is going to hold that area in place hopefully a little bit better and actually make this a better choice for this area area. So let's talk about the fastest and easiest way to get all of this topsoil out of the back of the pickup truck and onto the ground. You know, if this were a load of mulch, you'd be grabbing your pitchfork because a pitchfork is the fastest and easiest way to get mulch out of any area. Really, really does a great job because you can load up a ton of it on top of this fork. But you can't use it for topsoil, so let's push that one aside. So the best tool for the job is actually a shovel. Now I have two different shovels here. One is a flat top shovel, one is a spade shovel with a little point on it and you know what either one of these is actually fine I really prefer the one with the point because to me when you put the flat shovel into the dirt it kind of fights you a little bit and kind of pushes back on that tip of the shovel whereas if you use the spade shovel with that nice tip it kind of cuts through and makes easier work of it so whichever one you have you know go ahead and use but I really do prefer this version and then if you have any stray chunks of topsoil sitting on the bed of your pickup truck when you get to the bottom of this pile go ahead and grab your stiff metal rake and you can pull those out really easily at the end of the job. So I've backed up to that area. This is going to be easy work pulling this directly off the back of the pickup truck and just placing it right on the ground behind me. Now I'm going to take the heavy metal rake and I'm just going to move this topsoil around a little bit. So you can go ahead and you can push it, you can pull it, but in the end really what you want to do is kind of just make sure that it's nice and level all the way across the top. Obviously I need a lot more here so I'm going to keep shoveling. And you can change this up a bit whether you want to stand on the bed of the pickup truck or if you want to stand on the ground. Whatever is easier for you, sometimes it's easier to drag it rather than shovel it off. Well, I'm guessing you won't have to do this, but I grabbed a pickaxe because I need to get these roots out of the way because they're going to interfere with me being able to level off this surface. So here we go to try to get these out. There we go. Now that I'm happy with the way that this is all nice and evened off, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the grass seed. Now, if you've ever fed chickens, this is the exact same way you're going to spread all of your grass seed over this giant area. So you're just going to grab a handful of grass seed and you're just going to go ahead and throw it. So very gently throw it. It kind of comes from the middle of your hand, your palm to your fingertips and just let it go. So once I get this nicely, evenly covered, you know, I tend to do a heavier grass seed here than probably the directions say to do. The reason why I do that is because I want to make sure this grows in nice and even. And I also want to make sure that when I water it, it's not going to get displaced very much. And here's a close up of how you're going to get this grass seed just under the surface of the soil, about a quarter of an inch down. And you're just going to drag your steel rake over the top of it just like that. So whatever area you're going to plant, just make sure that you're choosing the correct grass seed for that area. My area happens to have full sun, so I have a full sun grass seed. 
and I'm grabbing a bale of straw. What the straw is going to do, it's going to lay over the top of that grass seed and it's going to keep it nice and moist for the whole course until it takes root. So this is going to be about a 10 day process, maybe two weeks, we'll see. But this is going to keep all the birds away too and I have some birds over in the trees over there that are probably dying to get at this grass seed. Now that I have a nice light even coat of straw over all of my surfaces, I'm getting ready to water. And so I just have a hose connected to an old fashioned sprinkler and this sprinkler is just going to go back and forth like that. And so what it's going to do is it's going to water about five minutes, I guess, until it starts to puddle on top of the straw. So that's what you're looking for. As soon as you see puddling on top of the straw, you'll shut your water off. Now you're going to do this three times a day until this is established because it needs to stay nice and moist. Now I've walked around the entire perimeter making sure that everything's getting hit with water, including me. So everything looks really great. Now after this is done, I'm going to check this every single day. You may need to do it twice a day. You may need to do it three times a day. It all depends on your weather in your area. And of course, if you get rain, let the rain take care of it. So once your grass begins to grow, make sure you don't mow until it's three inches tall. Otherwise you risk pulling out all your hard work. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this project on how to level and repair areas of your yard that aren't quite perfect. But you know what? Next year they will be. It didn't take me that long though, maybe an hour start to finish. So this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed watching it, please like, share, subscribe, and follow. And I'll keep bringing you these great projects in the future. Thank you.